Hello everyone, it is Super Bowl Sunday. Hope you're enjoying the game with your friends and family. If the Super Bowl is something that you watch. Um, obviously as I'm recording this, the game hasn't started yet. Uh, just before I get going, I want to say, you know, viewer discretion advised. Really, viewer listener discretion is advised with all my videos. You know, I don't want to... I don't try to be over shocking, overly shocking to you, overly, you know, crass or perverse. But, you know, just if you have children or younger siblings around, just be mindful of what what I'm talking about and whether or not you want them to be listening to it. So, last Sunday was the Grammys. Now, I didn't watch the Grammys. I haven't watched the Grammys in a while. Uh, but I heard about a performance by an artist, Sam Smith, and another artist who calls himself Kim Petrus. They performed a song called Unholy. Uh, prior to the, uh, to the performance, uh, they won the award for Best Duo, apparently. And uh, they were... <laughs> They were introduced by Madonna, who is this, who obviously Madonna has not had a hit in about three decades, so now she's this washed up old creepy grandma who is trotted out every so often to, um, you know, announce the perverts that she has, has spawned, or fellow degenerates, in a way. Which I could, I could talk about Madonna that's a separate video, really. Um, so, what's really getting a lot of talk on the right is the performance. Now, if you're not familiar with the song Unholy, um, you can look it up and watch the music video for yourself. Um, a few of the lyrics I have right here with me on my phone. Uh, Sam Smith, with the first verse, says, A lucky, lucky girl... She got married to a boy like you. She'd k she'd kick you out if she ever, ever knew about all the shit you tell me that you do. Dirty, dirty boy, you know everyone is talking on the scene. I hear them whispering about the places that you've been and how you don't know how to keep your business clean. Then they go into the chorus. Mommy don't know daddy's getting hot at the body shop doing something unholy. He's sat back while she's dropping it. She be popping it. Yeah, she put it down slowly. Owee, owee, o. He left his kids at hoey, hoey home so he can get that. Mommy don't know daddy's getting hot at the body shop doing something unholy. Then it goes to the second verse, which is Kim Petrus, which, by the way, Kim is transsexual. Kim is actually Tim. I'll talk about that later. Mmm, daddy, daddy, if you want it, drop the Addy. Give me love, give me Fendi, my Balenciaga daddy. You gonna need to bag it up, cause I'm spending on Rodeo. You, you can watch me back it up. I'll be, you can watch me back it up. I'll be gone in the AM. And he, he get me Prada, get me Mew Mew like Rihanna. He always call me cause I never cause no drama. And when you want it baby, you know I got you covered. And when you need it baby, just jump under the covers. Then it goes back into the uh, chorus. So, you know, it's, it's not the most wholesome song obviously. And the performance, which I had a very hard time finding the performance online to simply watch it and find out what it is. Um, it include it starts out with um, Sam Smith on this other stage, offset from the main stage. Um, he's surrounded by um, male and female um, backup dancers in kind of ish, uh, sexual, um, dress, 
Um, really, it looks like a it looks like a heavy metal music video from like the twenty tens. Um, at one point the the uh, backup dancers, while they are, are are dancing, go like this. Which, if you are familiar with, um, if you're Catholic or you're, or you're familiar with um, uh, Catholic stuff, if you've ever received a blessing from a Catholic priest, he will say, "I bless thee in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit." Amen. He folds his hand. He folds his hands at the end. Obviously, that along with you know, what the song is about and what else is happening on the stage, it's a mockery of of that sort of symbol. Which kind of goes along with the quote unquote satanic theme, which I, yes, it is quote unquote satanic, but I really think it is satanic because you, everything is about, the song is literally called Unholy. And um, after Sam sings his first verse, then it goes over to the main stage where Tim Petrus is in a cage surrounded by. Uh, female backup dancers in bikinis and uh, um, platform heels dancing around and she's in this like I said she's in this cage you know very kind of I guess kind of BDSM um, and she does her, her voice and then it goes up back over to Smith who is now donning not only a red outfit but a red top hat with devil thorns and then at one point, he is manspreading very sexually while holding the microphone and swaying back and forth. Um, so why am I talking about this? You can, I'll try to link the video where you can actually watch the performance in the description. But if I don't, you know, just you can find it yourselves. Um, why am I talking about this? This is getting worse. I mean, you had uh, um, Little Nas X, which I did not really see that one either, because like I said, I haven't watched the Grammys in a while. I hear that one was rather perverse. Um, but I think, you know, I think this is definitely raising the bar. We have a culture that is now more, well, not now, but is, is in a, to a decrease, to an increasing degree Directly opposed to religion. It's not now. It's not simply just a, a secularist or an or an agnostic culture, but is now moving from atheistic to now directly satanic. Where where not only do we, not only does the culture say that you know God is is not a thing, you know. God doesn't matter, but not only does God not matter, but sin and perversity are now the greatest moral goods. Where, and, and you see this, where, where the left is not, is not only holding, you know, Oh, it's a woman's right to choose. No, abortion is now a good. It is now greater to be gay than it is to be straight. It is now better to be trans transsexual or transgender than it is to be, you know, quote unquote cisgender. You know, to to recognize to be the sex that you are, or to recognize that you are the sex that your body is. The, the opposite is the good. Sin is the good. Now, obviously this is also to... Um, to, you know, jab at religious people. And, um, I'm not sure if it was... Uh, uh, Lady Gaga's either Roberto or Born This Way music video... Well, it started out with her dress as a nun, and then they rip off the habit, and she's in lingerie, and she's dancing around. 
the Catholic Church, um, uh, you know, said, hey, hey, we don't like this music video. And of course, that is exact, exactly what Lady Gaga wanted. Lady Gaga was raised Catholic. She hates religion, obviously, by the way she acts in her music videos and the sort of lifestyle that she promotes um, to where it was a direct jab at religion. But So by the Catholic Church saying, hey, we don't like this. Hey, you took the bait. That is exactly what I wanted to say with this music video. But also, why is this performance so hard to find? I think this is... And my mom didn't totally agree with me. Maybe she just thought that, you know, maybe they, for whatever reason, did, decided not to have it on the internet. I think there's actually a, a bigger reason than that, which is, I think, it is a little bit of the same reason why the left hates libs of TikTok so much. Which is that all of these things are fine when they're on TikTok and it's your kids watching them, but when libs of TikTok takes them verbatim and just puts them over on other social platforms where the parents of the kids can see them. Oh my gosh, now now this is terrible. How dare you take our words verbatim and show them and show that to the kids that to the parents of the kids that we are trying to indoctrinate. So the problem is not that we had a you know very satanic performance of a song called Unholy on the Grammys, which as a side note, directly after after the performance there was an ad, the performance was actually brought to you by Pfizer, so um, make the jokes that you will on that. So, yes, the, the same company that brings you vaccines made with uh, aborted fetus, fetal cell lines also brings you a pretty satanic performance. But I digress. Why is it so hard to find this performance on the internet? Because the fact that we had this performance is not the bad thing. The fact that you noticed and are having issues with it is the problem. You know, just like with Libs of TikTok, it's not that we are saying these things, it's that you're noticing that's the problem. So where do I think this is going to go? Well, I think... Um, I'm not sure who, who it was that initially said it, but uh, a, an optimist says uh, things can't get any worse, and a conservative optimist says, oh yes, they can. And, well, I'm a conservative, so are things going to get worse? Yes. We know from the Bible that things are going to get worse. Things are, we know from, from revelations that things are going to get a heck of a lot worse. And things have been a heck of a lot worse throughout history. But this is the world that we're living in, and, and this is what, are, what we are coming to. I guess I don't really have any great point to make, but just that, you know, this is, this is where we are now. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video, and I will try to make another one tomorrow. I want to talk about Joe Biden's State of the Union address. Thank you, and I'll see you next time. Bye.